Okay, so we're asked to find the area of the shape above, and there are multiple ways of doing this. Um, you can do this either by working out the big rectangle and taking away the bit you don't want. You can cut it up into three rectangles uh, in two different ways. Um, so the way I'm going to do it is it might not be the same way as you do it. All right, so I'm going to draw lines down here and down here, and I'm going to label these with A, B, and C, and that will help me um, show the examiner what I'm doing. So um, I'm going to work out the areas of each individual rectangle. So rectangle A, I'm going to do first, and that's uh, 4.3 times 5.6. Okay. So I've got my calculator up, 4.3 4.3 times 5.6, and it gives me the answer of 24.08. Okay, um, I'm going to do uh, probably rectangle C. Doesn't matter which order we do these. Um, now the height of this is also 5.6, okay, because it's 5.6 on the other side. So I'm going to do 1.2, which is the width, times the height, which is 5.6. So 1.2 times 5.6 is uh, 6.72. Okay, now rectangle B is quite difficult because I don't actually have any of the lengths to it, the, either the width or the height. So I've got to work out the width. Now to do the width, I know that the total width of this L shape is 9.8 and the two bits I don't want are 4.3 and 1.2. So I'm going to do 9.8, take away 4.3, take away 1.2 and that leaves me with 4.3. So it's going to be 4.3 there. Okay, and looking at the height, the total height is 5.6. The bit I don't want is the 2.4 here. So the total height is 5.6. The bit I don't want is 2.4. So I'm going to do 5.6, take away 2.4. And that leaves me with 3.2. So for rectangle B, it's going to be 4.3 times 3.2. So I'm going to do it on my calculator, 4.3 times 3.2, uh, which is 13.76. Now, the total area is just all those added together. So I'm going to do 13.76 plus 6.72 plus 24.08. When I do that, I get 44.5. Six. Now it says it wants to do decimal places, but it already is to do decimal places, so I don't need to do anything.